Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be reviewing this car cigarette adapter voltmeter. And I got this on Amazon for about $2.63. There's really no brand name for this, is because there's so many resellers on Amazon. I just basically bought the least expensive one I can find. And this will tell me the, the um, how much volt is in my vehicle when it's not on, and also when it's on, and also when it's taxed. So here's a chart I found on Amazon. So here's a for when it's not on it should be between 11.9 volts to 12.8 volts and when it is on it should be between 13.2 volts to 14.8 volts and the reason I got this is because in my car this Honda CRV 2012 at times I have problems starting it uh, and I don't think it's a battery because we got we, we put less than like 20,000 miles or about 30,000 miles on this car so it's too early for it to be battery problems. It's too early for it to be like the alternator problem. So I got this and also a backup battery. And just in case whenever the car stalls or I, I can actually see how much volt is left on the car. And recently, this last month, I got a letter from Honda dealership telling me that there is an issue with the Honda CRV 2012 because the computer isn't charging the battery properly. So essentially my suspicions were confirmed. And I'm gonna bring I'm definitely gonna bring this this uh, Honda CRV in to the dealership tomorrow, to the service center tomorrow to get it fixed. Or to get a, the uh, computer updated. To use this voltmeter, just essentially just insert it into your power port like so. And the next thing is I'm just gonna turn on turn to accessory. So right now it's showing that it's got 12.4 volts and according to this chart over here 12.4 that's where it says it's good uh, so that's a good thing 12.4 I'm gonna set it to the on position it drops a little bit that's fine so I'm gonna start the car now and it's just steadily climb a bit so now it's 14.2 and now let's go back to the chart. 14.2, that's also good. And now, uh, what I notice is that uh, if my car is like around just under 11, then I have a problem, uh, it's quite a difficult time starting a vehicle. I need a little boost from my uh, portable, but my, my portable charger. But yeah, this is using these cigarette voltmeters, cigarette port voltmeters is very easy. You don't need to take a traditional voltmeter and go to the battery and hook up to the positive negatives you can just do it right in the comfort of your cabin car cabin so I would recommend one of these units it only cost me less than it cost me less than three dollars and there's no I don't see a reason to buy any any of the other ones out there that's like over ten dollars they're a lot fancier some of them have built-in USB ports on it but the problem is that with the built-in USB port on these on these devices it, it draws more battery from it so uh, I don't know you might not get an act as accurate for, of a rating as as you, you, you would have hoped. And also, if you're trying to diagnose an issue, I believe that less interference is better. Just have it be very straightforward in your diagnostic tool. Okay, so this is just a review of a car adapter, a car power outlet voltmeter. This, this one works for 12 volts or 24 volts. And well, thanks for watching Walker Hamster. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Bye.